Sorry, let me just quickly take this one real quick. Um, is in uh, John 5:38. Okay. Uh, there was a there is a story a discourse where Jesus went to the pool, healed somebody on on Sabbath day. Yes, I think it was Pentecost day. So the people were against him. Why would he do that? And they yes. were killing. Yes. And in thirty eight, he now said, he, "The Father bear witness of him that they have not seen him at any time. Neither have they had his voice." Yes. And thank you also for taking us out of religion. For someone like me that had the MFM background had deeper life background, wow. so you know how far I've gone. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so that case, I remember you told us they've not seen God at any time. The yes. first time God came, yes. it was Jesus Christ, and yes. I strongly believe it. Yes. So in, in this matter, is it telling those people there, or is it referring to everybody that they've not seen God at any time, now that they had his voice? Is it for those people? Everybody. He's talking about the Old Testament complete. Nobody in the Old Testament ever saw God. None. And even the Old Testament people really didn't hear the voice of God. Because God spoke to them through mediums. Dreams, visions, types, shadows, prophecies, and all of that. The first time we had the direct voice of God and saw God is Christ. You see, that's why Moses, after he did miracles and wonders and power and everything, he started screaming out, show me your glory. I thought the miracles are glory. No, the miracles are not the glory of God. The glory of God is Christ. What Moses was saying is, I want to see God. I want to see you face to face. God said, no, it's not yet time. A time will come when there will be a visible appearance, but not yet time. You won't see my face. Now, the King James says, when you see my face, you will die. The original says, when you see my face, you live. You can't see God and die. There's no death in God. When you see God, you live. That's the original. So that's a translation issue. So actually, what God was saying is that Moses, you can't see me. Because when you see me, you will live. But for me to make you live now, it's not right. Because it's an appointed time. When that eternal life will be made available after I die and rise from the dead. Do you understand? So they didn't really have that visible. That's why Hebrews 1 1 says, In sundry times, diverse manners, the prophets spoke to the fathers. In these last days, God has spoken to us in his son. Is it clear?